What is going on today? We're gonna take you guys into a Korean comic book store. Recently saw a, a post on Reddit, actually it's a really old post on Reddit, about where there are comic book stores here in Korea where dudes can get Marvel and DC comics. So we're gonna show you guys today. Okay, Ali, people are gonna ask, how do they get to this comic book store? Call out the eight exit of Hongin University. Yep, so that one right there. I don't know if there's an exit on the other side. Okay, no there's not. And then we're gonna walk this way, ignore all the pretty people, and we're not even gonna cross the street. We're gonna take a right. Okay. Won't you take won't you come out of the exit? And you take your right, you walk exactly a block. And then go a right right here. And we take a right here. And then go down and then we can look at the car Oh. No, they have they should have marble. They should have marble too. Oh here we go. Wow, it's huge. Wow. This place is so big. Wow. Batman Superman. Okay. Udi. Are you seeing what I'm seeing, Oli? Look at this. Let's show them. Let's show them the lineup. This guy's. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then watch this. Watch this. Coming up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Call me Pochungugi. So actually, Oliver just picked up. The uh, Spider-Man and Deadpool Volume 1. This is in a really weird order here in Korea. Actually, I think it's in general it's in a really weird order. This is Volume 3. And so it picks up here at 10, 9, 10, 13, 14, 17, 18. So that is the whole Itsy Bitsy story. Not to ruin it for anyone that hasn't read the comic book. All right. Oh my God. This is insane. Oh my God, guys. They're freaking up here too. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oliver, this is insane. I have a heart attack. Okay, so this comic book store is one of the highest rated comic book stores on Google and on Naver. The only thing that you guys are going to need to read these comic books is uh, to be able to read in Korean. Uh, every comic book that we've ever bought in a Korean comic book store has been in Korean. So if we don't speak Korean, uh, then you're out of luck. But let's go through it. Let's go through and pick out some comics. I'm freaking excited. I'm gonna get a five. How many trades do you Spider-Man trades do you have? Four. Get out of here, dude. How much, you know how expensive those are? I don't know. Does it matter to you? No. Why? Cause I'm rich fool. Oh <laughs> actually Oliver just starred in a TV show on EBS yesterday and got a hundred and fifty thousand won, so <sighs> I don't want to buy this. You can buy it. So I have to buy it with my money? Yeah. Word. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's, instead of starting, we're going we're gonna to go this way. We have, we have, what do you have? We have Fantastic Four. We have Hellboy, Miss Marvel. All the Captain America, Deadpool. Hellboy, oh, Deadpool Marvel? and Cable. Oh, my gosh. We have Hawkeye, Iron Man, Thor, Ages of Thunder. <clears throat> okay, with this, you have Annihilation, you have Hulk, Daredevil, Punisher, Secret War. Oh my gosh, they have freaking Secret War. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my, American Vampire. Meh. Okay, then let's come down here. Then you have all these Star Wars comics. You have Siege. You have the freaking Dark Avengers. <laughs> new, new Avengers, the Dark Avengers right there. That might be something you like. Yes. We have a slew of X-Men here. We have a bunch of Spider-Man trades. A whole lot of Spider-Man trades. Oh my gosh, an Infinity Gauntlet. They're the Infinity Gauntlet trade. I wonder what's the difference between these two. And then you have Ant-Man here. Thanos. I have, oh my god, Venom versus Carnage. Holy smokes. All right. That one's going in the bank. Okay. Infinity Gauntlet. Too bad I already have this in English. I but 
That is really cool. Actually, for, for the Korean viewers of my channel, if you guys liked the Infinity Wars and you want to read the comic books that the Infinity Wars was based on, this is the, this is the comic book you want to read. Deadpool versus Thanos. I actually am, I'm reading this right now. I have the comics for that yesterday. Okay, let's see. You have Doctor Strange, The Oath. I actually read that this comic book in the, uh, the comic book cafe. I'm tempted to buy this, but I kind of want to finish it in the cafe. And then you have Spider-Man trades. You have Captain America trades. Captain America trades. You have the Uncanny Avengers trades. Oh my goodness. Where am I going to start? Oh my god, and then you have all these. Marvels? Oh, we have the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad April Fool's special. Oh. Should we get this? It's only 3,001. I don't know. No like it, DC. We want Marvel. Okay, so we just checked out. We gotta find mommy. Each of these trades is about ten dollars. It's it's twelve thousand won here in Korea. Uh, I don't know how that um, that compares to America, but it's not so bad. It's pretty cheap. Okay, we are back at home. I'm gonna show you something that I noticed when I started reading comic books here in Korea. So it's pretty cool. The covers are exactly the same. By the way, this is a Deadpool versus Thanos number one um, that we just picked up yesterday. So the artists and writers and dudes, it's in English, but and the title is in English, but everything else um, right here says Deadpool versus Thanos issue one. Uh, the translator is uh, put in Korean. And then it has like the little jokes that Deadpool is saying as he's running away from super awesome Thanos in Korean. The one thing that I wanted to show you guys was how uh, these Korean comic books get around untranslatable American pop culture parts in like the comic books. So there's a part here in this comic when Deadpool is meeting uh, Black Talon or he's talking to Black Talon. Where are we going? Ah, here we go. So there's a part in the comic when he literally calls him right here. So it says, Sendo se te So it literally says Colonel Sanders. But there is an asterisk and a number three there, which tells the reader to look down here to look at the third footnote that explains that, uh, you know, who Colonel Sanders is. Colonel Sanders is, you know, the, the KFC guy. And KFC, because he's a chicken, he's calling him you know, Colonel Sanders. So it helps the Korean reader understand these um, pop culture jokes. There are also things in here, like when um, Black Talon mentions like certain spells, certain things in like voodoo. There's several certain things that don't make sense in Korean, but they also, also will asterisk her page, you know, down here, let's say number two, uh, in, you know, voodoo, this is a blah, 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 blah. And so I like it a lot. Today we went to the comic book store and picked up a bunch of comics. Uh, like I showed you guys, everything they had other than um, two of the comics were these uh, paperback trades. Now, there are some places that have a lot more of these um, single comics. Kyobo Books, which is a, um, a chain store that's all over Korea, has a bunch of these. It's actually where I bought the entire set, one through four, yesterday, so I can enjoy this uh, set of comic books in Korean. Um, so Kyobo Books is a really popular store all over Korea, so you should be able to find it if you live in any major city. Um, the one here in Seoul ha had an entire wall. I'm going to show you guys a picture right now. And uh, as you can see, this, um, well, I guess not entire wall, but entire section of a wall. So it's nice uh, having access to comic books here in Korea, but there are a couple of things that suck. You don't have access to the newest and the greatest uh, comics out there. Second of all, uh, I noticed yesterday when I picked up these comic books from the Kyobo bookstore that they do this. Can you guys, you guys should be able to see it. They put a cardboard piece in between the comic. So if you're planning to do this and you want to get it um, with the in the best condition possible, you might want to make sure that you're not getting them from Kilbo because I, I really didn't like that. But these aren't expensive comics and I'm reading them for fun. The second thing that I didn't like about getting the comic, the, the, the books at uh, Kilbo uh, was they put this stamp on it. However, at the actual comic book store that I went to today, they didn't stamp it. They didn't touch it. So I guess it's really up to whichever comic book store you're going to. So 
Uh, like I said earlier, all of the comics that you're getting in the uh, in Kobo books and in the Korean comic book stores are going to be in Korean. There is one store here in Korea on this entire peninsula that has comic books in English. Go online and look up what the book in Itaewon. It's actually in Bogwangdong, uh, closer to the river, down the street from Itaewon. So let's say you go, say let's say you call that shop and they don't have what you want. All you have to do is uh, ask them, I'm sure, or order it from their website and they will they will have it shipped from wherever it comes from to their shop in 10 days. Then you can get your comic books that you want in English. Again, uh, it, it's not going to be like a, a traditional comic book store in the States, but it's better than nothing. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, drop a like and, and hit subscribe and hit the alarm button. If you guys want to see anything specific, uh, specific about Korean comics, uh, whether or not there's a difference in translation or really anything, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.